Welcome, what is up? Thank you for tuning back into the Chaos Layer. Of course, I am Chris Chaos here with your Raw 411 for July the 29th, uh, 2013. Ten things here that you need to know about, so, uh, or at least that I learned from Raw, uh, so I'm going to share them with you. Uh, I'm gonna, I've got ten things written. I've got number one. It's special. I'm going to leave that for the end, so be prepared. Don't go anywhere. You're going to want to hear this. Uh, number two, RVD is still way over. We all know this. Uh, and I, I, I'm really going to like SummerSlam. Uh, AJ and Caitlyn, this is getting redundant. There's, there's, there's nothing, there's no reason for them to still be wrestling each other. And I think they're wrestling each other on SmackDown too, or they just wrestled on SmackDown. I didn't watch SmackDown last week, so I don't know. Uh, but anyway, and what about Layla? Uh, where's Layla in all this? She hasn't been on TV in a match, like one match in like two months. Come on. Uh, I think it should be Layla and, and AJ. I mean, why not? Because, you know, why not? Uh, Big E reminds me of Big Van Vader in the ring. It just hit me tonight, but I love it. Christian and Del Rio are money. I've been very outspoken that I am just tired of Del Rio, but uh, you know, who knows? Maybe uh, Christian can... They put those two together in a storyline. Maybe it can draw my interest back in. I, I don't know. Cody's going to be a phenomenal babyface. Uh... And you can throw Del Rio, or not Del Rio, but Ziggler in the same mix. The reason because they both have been heels for so long in their WWE career that now they're finally baby faces and they're way over. I think two years is a perfect time, but you know, who knows with WWE. Uh, Kane versus Daniel Bryan. I'm tired of seeing this match. Let's move on. Uh, Brie versus Natalia was actually a decent to okay match. Uh, you know, I, I've been very uh, outspoken uh, against the Bella haters that I think uh, I think the Bellas are better now than when they were you know, they, they had that 11 month hiatus and when they left they were bad when they came back they were decent uh, I think Bree is okay now uh, but there's still lots more that they can improve on uh, let's just hope that they do Axel, it gets better every time he touches a mic. It's just gonna take more time, more time. And I know a lot of people are giving him all this accolade. Calm down on that. He's not great yet, but he's really good. And he's getting better. And you can see it every time he touches a mic. It's in his DNA. I've been saying it for five years. He's going to outshine his father. He's going to. And this is not like the biggest prediction ever for me, because if you can't see that, you're blind. Number 10, no one cares about the main event. Back to number one. This is what I teased earlier. VKM and Daniel Bryan, which by the way, for those that read that this was a horrible segment, whoever wrote that was out of their fucking minds. This wasn't horrible. This was compelling TV. Now, it wasn't phenomenal, great, fantastic. But it was good. Because I learned two things from this. Well, maybe add this and then the segment, the little video uh, backstage thing with Vince, Stephanie, and Triple H. I learned two things. One, Daniel Bryan is not going to win the WWE title at SummerSlam, which we kind of all probably assumed was going to happen. But I can go ahead and give you the stamp of approval that it's not going to happen. And, uh... There's no need for anybody to say, oh, it's gonna. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But I will say that I think, you know, there's rumor that there's going to be a match at WrestleMania in New Orleans that's going to have Triple H is going to pick somebody to represent him. Vince is going to pick somebody to represent him. And the winner is going to win for either Triple H or Vince control over the company control over the company so I think Daniel Bryan is going to be Triple H's guy I really do I really think that now so I'm going to go on record and say that that's, that's what I think is going to happen now if I'm wrong I'm just wrong but if I'm right I will be the first person to say that and fuck you. No, nobody else has said that. I would be the first one to say that. So there. Anyway, 
that's all I got for this time. Make sure that you watch uh, what I'm about to upload. I taped it last night. Uh, Chaos Shoots. Total Divas. Uh, it's not like you think it is. Trust me. You're going to want to see this. Maybe I'll probably be vilified for it, but maybe not. Anyway, that's all I got. Deuces. It's always Chaos. Out.